to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, we got a very interesting video. I had Kevin, which is behind the camera right now. Alrighty. This is such a rare moment. I haven't been fishing with Kevin or Danny in like two months because they're just too busy for me. That's code word for they hate me. Anyways, he 3D printed me this nice little ghost lure right here for the Halloween special. Just look at this thing. We got it branded with Bass Bros right there. It's looking pretty sweet, but the action is gonna be questionable, but we're gonna give it a try right now. It weighs at least seven tons. Oh yeah, that's just, it looks looking like top water right now. <laughs> it should sink. It sinks, but when I start swimming it, it comes up to the top. It's supposed to jig it. Oh, when you jig it, it, it like stands upright. It's kind of cool. Action may be a little bit questionable, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna try to catch a fish. So let's get these yaks in the water. Croc socks and sand don't go very well. And it's already getting hot since the sun's out and I'm blind. Let's just take this off. Oh my gosh, that water's cold. Dude, that's gotta be like 50. What the heck? Now that it's in deeper water, it actually swims. Does it move? No, it kind of just looks like a torpedo darting through the water. But the point is, it's in the water. And tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Oh wait, that was seaweed. I got excited though, because it low-key felt like a bite. Okay, so if you had to go in a neighborhood, or a, let's say a higher up neighborhood where they have a lot of very large, fun-sized candy bars, there's not a lot of houses, but if you do go, you might get a house that's you know generous, you get a lot of very large, fun-sized candy bars, or do you go to a smaller, lower class neighborhood with a lot more houses with smaller size candy bars, and they may not be as generous. I go to more houses, more fun, you know, just running around with your friends, just hitting up a bunch of houses. Like, it's more about the memes, you know. All right, this is so the spot, like, guaranteed. Oh wait, oh my gosh, there's actually a fish. I got a fish. Oh my gosh, I got bit. I literally, oh my gosh, I caught something. It's a bluegill, but I... or a sunfish. <laughs> I don't even care, guys. I caught one on the ghost. We did it. I mean, wasn't the target species, but I caught a fish on the ghost. So, oh, oh my gosh. Dude, you need to. Relax, okay? Relax. Ghost, fish. It works. Honestly, that's a nice little pumpkin seed. I would like to put him in my fish tank, but we have no way to transport him. And I don't know, he might actually attack Fred. Fred would be not stand a chance against him. Anyways, I don't really have any words, but that's a fish on the ghost. And there he goes. We did it, sort of, still catch. All right, got another Halloween question for you. Best and worst candy. Best is Skittles. I mean, you have to taste that rainbow. The worst is like, um, a freaking little Butterfinger or something like that. Piece of crap. <laughs> Always give them to our dad because he loves them. Um, almond Joy is the worst. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Look how much common it is over here. This is our normal side of the lake. But usually that side works better in the cold, but I guess not today. We're gonna try this side, see if that gets a bite. If it doesn't, then at least I caught a pumpkin seed, you know? But we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot. Fishing with a kayak and a boat on a kayak and a boat. There's a feeding frenzy back there. I don't know what that is, but something's eating over there. There's fish, got him. Yes, sir. That fish that I saw eating, dude. Oh my gosh. I actually got a fish on the ghost and it's, I'm gonna cry. Well, with it being a very heavy lure, it's not surprising that the fish was able to shake the hook off, but dang it, dude. This is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. 
the morale of the day is just, it's down there, man. Frog out. I'm not letting this thing beat me. It's just not gonna happen, I'm sorry. It is now a few days later, I'm back out on the kayak here. I have the ghost lure tied on again. We're gonna try to catch a fish on that. Cause I was really upset that I lost that one the other day. Cause I'm not gonna let the fish win. I'm gonna try to catch another one. Hopefully it doesn't come off. It has been rough the past few weeks to say the least. But hopefully it's turning around now and maybe we can get on some fish. I can't tell you how bad I just wanna throw a spinner bay right now. Like I'm just, I've had it. Okay, I got the spinner bait tied on. I just wanna like get a gauge of how the bite is. Like, am I gonna catch something on the spinner bait or are the fish just not biting anything? That's the question I wanna know. Oh, there's a fish. Yes, sir, I got one. Oh my gosh, finally. We hooked into a fish. It's not on the ghost though, it's on the spinner bait. But I just had to see if fish were even biting. And it didn't take me too long to get one on the spinner bait, to be honest. Only about, I think 15 to 20 minutes I had this thing on, I don't really know. But oh my goodness, point is, it's rough, guys. It is a rough day. <laughs> oh my gosh, please don't come off. If you come off, I'm gonna cry. All right, there we go, dude. Yes, sir. This is actually a pretty decent one, too. He is just really, really chubby. He's definitely getting nice and fat for the, for the winter time here. That's what we like to see, though. Finally hooked into a fish. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, guys. Well, now that I know that there's fish in this area, I'm gonna put the ghost lure back on and try to catch one on that. Not gonna give up just yet. But anyways, dude, I really appreciate your bite. Yeah, I'm gonna send you back on your way, bud. Oh my gosh, guys, I literally see a bass right behind me. He's like sitting in a pile of weeds and I have to tie this thing on quick. I wanna flip it right in front of him, see if he comes and eats it. I, I doubt it, but like, it's worth a shot. I'm just wondering. Oh my gosh, there's a fish on the ghost. On the freaking ghost, guys. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. It's a big one, dude. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, that's actually a good fish. A good fish, that's actually a good. No way. Dude, that was like a freaking three, four pounder. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally going to cry. Like, this is not funny anymore. Today was another depressing mission, but I'm not done yet. I'm catching a bass on this ghost lure if it's the last thing I do. Day number three, I'm at the ponds, I got the ghost lure. Please just let me make this happen today because I'm sick and tired of using this thing and I just want to edit this video so I can have it ready for Halloween. Oh my gosh, I got something, I got something. Please don't come off, I actually got a fish. I got one, oh my gosh, it's actually a decent one. Please don't come off, you're coming here, you're coming here, oh my goodness. It's actually a good one, that's a good one. No, nope, you're not coming off, keep them pinned. Yes, sir, I actually did it. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. On the ghost lure, I actually caught one, dude. That's actually a good one. What the heck, dude? Oh my goodness, I'm getting, I gotta get a weight on this guy, but look at that. Ghost lure right in his mouth. Finally did it. Only took three trips, but we did it. Two pounds, 14 ounces right there. Basically just caught a three pounder on the ghost. That's what we like to see. I can't believe it. I actually did it. That just like makes my whole day right there. It only was like third cast or something. It was insanely quick. But I can't believe we just did that, and I'm so happy, dude. Just like, let's freaking go, man. Ghost lure on the bass, complete. I actually did it. I'm leaving right now because I'm just done. I don't even care. I'm not throwing that lure like ever again. But such a beautiful looking fish right there. All right, bud. See you later. Let's freaking go, dude. Honestly, I thought I was stuck on something because that fish came super shallow. Like it was only about like five feet off the shore, and I thought I got stuck on something. But then it started getting me, giving me head shakes, and I was like, yo, there's fish. Well, this is what I'm gonna call it a day. The whole goal was just to catch one on the ghost, and that I did. I actually can't believe it. Only took three trips and three tries, because I hooked two on both of the other trips, and they both came off, so that was really unfortunate. But I'm glad I was able to complete this challenge, because I was not gonna let that ghost get the best of me. No lure is ever gonna get the best of me. I'm gonna catch a fish on every single one of these challenges that I do. It doesn't matter how long it takes, I will film for literally a month straight if I have to catch a fish on one lure because I'm not going to let a lure beat me. That's just how it goes. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And if you have any other crazy lures or any ideas, just let me know in the comments down below because I read all your comments and I listen to your ideas and I will most likely film it. So yeah, 
with that being said, hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>